Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Whispering Imps Gamesters, both red and black. So if you don't know, uh, Whispering Imps, that is a product line designed by Chris Chilko. And if you wanna learn more about the Whispering Imps products, you can visit whisperingimps.com. Uh, this deck is the second, it's kind of the second. Um, it does even say number two at the bottom of this tech case. It's kind of like the second project um, after the Whispering Imps project. Now there's the Gamesters project. Uh, this was released on Kickstarter. It was successfully funded. And uh, these are the finished products in my hands. Like I said, this campaign was done in both red and black. The biggest uh, difference of which is the back design. Um, these are the back designs. So the cards are gonna have a red back design or black. And then the tuck case as well is done in red and black also. Uh, for the sake of this review, we're gonna use red just because it stands out a little bit more on camera and pops a little bit better. The front of this tuck case is very ornate. Um, this was done on purpose because the original um, Whispering Imps project uh, had a very minimalistic tuck case, very simple, very clean designs. You can go back and look at a lot of my other Whispering Imps deck reviews. And then the cards themselves were very ornate. So what Chris decided to do was do the opposite this time, uh, do a very ornate, very rich looking tuck case, and then a very simplistic back design. Uh, this says first quality playing cards at the top, says Whispering Imps. Then you have the little uh, picture there of the imp playing poker there with a the dealer. And then it says Gamesters down there at the bottom. And then like I said, it says number two. This side says Gamesters playing cards as well as this side. The bottom has some ad copy about Chris Chelko and Mark Stutzman, who is the artist of this deck. You might remember Mark Stutzman also has done a lot of decks for Legends and David Blaine, on and on and on. Uh, the top has the WI icon for Whispering Imps, and then it has some uh, vine work there. The tuck uh, tongue is really cool. It has a giant banner. Uh, it's also the bigger tongue flap, and it says Gamesters right there. And then the back design, of course, is the WI for Whispering Imps. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Expert Playing Card Company and they are done with their master finish and they do have a traditional cut. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit the Expert Playing Cards website. Your back design is very simple. It's inspired by a lot of the early uh, Las Vegas casinos, things like Jerry's Nuggets, Gold Nugget, The Win. Uh, it's very clean, very simplistic, uh, very elegant back design and allows uh, you to focus on what's really important and that would be playing cards, playing the game. Uh, these Gamesters cards, that's what they are designed for. These are gaming cards, particularly poker or a tabled card uh, where you have to take a peek at your cards and you didn't want anyone else to know <laughs> what they were. Uh, you can see the back design is done in this really bright uh, red color. It's very, uh, very sharp, very vivid. Uh, and then you can also see you have a really razor thin uh, border as well. So the thing that makes this a gaming playing card set is the indices. Uh, you can see that you have four indices. Uh, you have your standard two here, and then you have another two that are sideways. These are placed only 2.5 millimeters away from the edge of the deck. And so when this is tabled, you're able to lift just the corner up and just gain a peek. Uh, that can be beneficial if you're playing you know, a game like poker where you don't want anyone else to see your hand. With this deck, you're gonna get a single joker. Uh, it is the imp character playing poker at a table. And he's turning slightly back and looking at you. It says Gamesters down there at the bottom. It says number two, and then it has the words joker there in the corner. And you'll notice a really cool optical illusion. The word joker is up there at the top, but the shadow behind it is the word poker. Like previous Whispering Imps decks, the court cards are done in a very old-fashioned, very classic look. The pips and indice cards all have big, kind of chunky pip fonts, and the aces have exploded center pips. Your second extra card is a cut card. Now, a cut card would be used in casinos, especially uh, used by the dealer. Uh, what you would do is you take the cut card and you place it on the bottom of the deck so that when you are dealing cards off to people, uh, the other players can't see the bottommost card. One side of the cut card is blank, and the second side has a quote from Benny Binion which says, trust everyone, but always cut the cards. Well, that is this review of the Gamesters playing cards. If you want to learn more or purchase your own, you can visit whisperingimps.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. 